Hello, I'm Jeff Haitman, the owner and founder of Earth's Treasury, and welcome to this installation of Treasure Talk. Today we're going to talk about sapphire rough, or the material that comes directly from the mine. And to illustrate it, effectively I have a large pile of Montana sapphire rough in front of me right now. This all comes from Montana, specifically from the Potentate Mine in Phillipsburg uh, on the Rock Creek deposit. Potentate owns the world's largest Montana sapphire mine, and we are one of the largest suppliers of cut Montana sapphires in our partnership with Potentate. This is one of my shipments I received this year, and it represents about half of what we will receive in cut from the 2024 mining season. In front of me are approximately 30 kilos of sapphire rough, which sounds really impressive, but you're gonna find out why, even with 30 kilos, there's a very small number of large fine stones that are available. So let's go through that and talk about what we get from the mine. We purchase what's called mine run, which is how most material is sold from mines. That covers all the different size and quality grades that the mine produces. The only thing that's done with the rough before we receive it is it's been size graded into various sizes, which are represented by these piles, and it's been acid cleaned to get the staining and oxidation off of it that's there from being in the ground for millions of years. We then take this material and process it the rest of the way, and we'll talk about that more in some future installations of Treasure Talk. Today I want to talk about the size distribution. So this large pile you see here are very small pieces of rough. These are between 3.3 millimeters and 4.7 millimeters. And these will only cut what's referred to as melee sizes. So these are little tiny sapphires that are used in pieces of jewelry. Maybe a small pair of earrings, side stones on a ring, or the tiny melee you'll see set on the side of a band of a ring. Because of their very small size, the colors are never very saturated. And it's really not something that's economical for us to deal with. So most of this, we will actually end up either not cutting at all or sending overseas to have cut in limited amounts to be used in some of our jewelry. This represents roughly 70% of what we get. So out of that 30 kilos that sounded so impressive, 70% of it is so tiny we really can't use it. The next big fraction, which represents about 15%, so we're now up to 85% of what we're talking about, is about 4.7 millimeters to 5.6 millimeters. And similar to this material, most of this is really too small for us to use in most of our everyday jewelry. Um, if you look at our website, you'll see that most of the gems we list are larger than a carat. And there's really just not many that will ever come out of this size fraction that are that size. None will come out of this small fraction that large. This size, we might get a handful, literally maybe 1%. Okay, those stones we will remove and use, and we'll remove some fancy colors and use those. And occasionally we'll use some of the larger stones to make match sets of earrings because we can get a few five millimeter size stones out of here. However, the bulk of this material is actually not used by us. Instead, it's used by some large retailers here in the United States who sell smaller earrings and other pieces of jewelry. And that we do in collaboration with some others in the industry. We're now down to kind of the last 14 to 15% of what we would buy in any given year. And again, we have a very large fraction of it, over 10% here in a size class that's 5.6 to 6.7 millimeters. This is starting to have some more material that we can use, but much like the other material, most of it is again too small. And the reason is that this will primarily cut from about 60 points or a little over half a carat to a few stones over a carat. And by a few, I mean less than 10%, generally about 5%. So with this material, what we will do is generally take only the special fancy unheated stones, which might make up one or 2% of the entire batch, and a few of the largest and finest stones, which we might use for um, you know, individual stones that'll cover over carat, or perhaps some matched pairs of earrings, again, in that five to six millimeter size range. Similar to the size right below this, again, most of this actually stays in the U.S. market. It is uh, heated and cut and sold at some large retailers. And that's a, just another partnership arrangement we have because we really don't want to, of course, waste any of this material. It's valuable. It took a lot of effort to mine it. The stuff you see listed on our website all comes from this top fraction, which makes up less than 4% of everything that we get. So we've taken what was 30 kilos and we're now down to 4% of that or 1.2 kilos that are going to be material we can use for the stones you see and you want to get in, say, an engagement ring or another fashion ring. These are the stones that are generally going to cut over a carat. So this particular size fraction here is 
the 6.7 to 8 millimeter size. The bulk of these are going to be more like 6.7 to 7.5 millimeters. And these will generally cut about 1.2 carats to about 1.75 carats. And the average is generally somewhere around 1.3 to 1.4 carats. There's occasionally a few uh, larger two carat size stones in here if we get lucky and the shape's just right. But most of it is in that sweet spot of 1.3 to 1.5 carats. Those big two carat stones that everybody wants and loves are incredibly rare. In that 30 kilo batch, we have only about 150 that are that large size that will cut a two carat size stone. So when you're looking for a stone, you're wondering why can't I find a particular color or a particular shape in the size that I want? It's because the rarity just gets so much higher the bigger you get with these stones. It's an exponential increase in rarity as you go up. And of course, at the same time, there's a much, much higher demand for larger stones. And then those two things combined are really why these large stones are so valuable and so expensive. They're just super rare, super difficult to get. And there's hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars put into it every year mining to get a very small number of the super fine large stones. We'll talk in future uh, treasure talks about what goes on next with these, which will include grading them for more than size. So we'll grade them for color and clarity. And then what the process is, is we move them through the heating process and cutting and every other step that it takes until it gets to a gem that you get to wear on your hand. In the meantime, hopefully you've learned a little bit something about the rarity of the material, why large sizes are so rare, and what we do every year in terms of receiving and processing mine run rough. Thanks for your time and we'll talk to you soon again.